Hi, I'm Nick Morrow with CJSElectric7.com. Today I want to show you how to install a light switch outside. The materials you're going to need are a single pole switch, a weatherproof box, an in-use cover, some wire nuts, a couple of screws to mount the box, and about two feet of outdoor rated Romex wire. The tools you're going to need are a sharp utility knife, a battery operated screw gun, a pair of side cutters with good insulated handles, and a pair of wire strippers. As you can see we've got the power coming out from the inside here and we've grounded the box. This is the power, the black is hot and the white is the neutral. We've added this wire for a switch. Uh, we're going to install a switch here. This particular wire will go out to the light or whatever we decide to switch. This wire out. Make sure you have a very sharp knife because this wire is difficult to strip. It's an outdoor rated wire. It's easiest sometimes just to separate it. with your pliers. Pinch it, should pop right out. Separate it like that. Cut the wires off. This particular one, since we have a feed through, we join the wires together the bare wires first. Which is the ground wire. Cut it off. When we join the green or the bare wires together we need to ground the switch so we add a third wire to it. It's what we call a pigtail. We pigtail a wire. Different color wire nuts are different sizes. This particular wire nut is rated for three of these conductors. And a single pole switch has two screws on it. Basically, the wire comes, the power comes in, goes to this point, and when you turn the switch on, it allows it to go through to the next wire, which will be your light going out. The white wires are the common or the neutral. They just need to be tied together, strip them maybe about a three quarters of an inch. I personally like to twist the wires. Other people don't, really doesn't matter. I feel this is a stronger connection. Again, yellow wire nut is smaller than the red. Put the cap on there nice and tight. Make sure no copper is sticking out of it. You can easily fold them back into the box. The whites, like the bears, get tucked back into the back of the box. Next are your hots. Strip these out. Basically the same thing. My strippers have a little hole in it that you can bend the wire make a hook on it to go underneath the screw of the switch. About the same length for the bare wire of the switch. Usually the incoming hot goes on the top and the outgoing goes on the bottom. Make sure it's a good connection there. It's behind the screw. It's not sticking up past the, re the uh, switch there. Nice good connection in there. Same with the bottom wire. Tighten that up. Make sure everything's tight. Fold the wires back up in there. Make sure with a single pole switch it says off and on. Usually the connections are on the right hand side on a single pole switch. 
Next we attach the switch to the box. And keep in mind on the inside, this should be protected by a GFCI breaker or an outlet since that it is outside and subject to weather and rain. Any outlets or electricity you have outside should definitely be protected on a ground fault circuit interrupter or GFCI. When we tighten this up, very good, nice and straight. Now we have a gasket and we have a plate. Again, this particular in-use cover comes with different types of plates. Tells you, top, we'll go on there. Remove this from its hinge. Again, it says, has a top on it. Make sure you have the top, an arrow pointing up. Use the plate as a guide. I like to start the first screw first so that I can use the rest of them, the plate as a guide for the rest of them. Make sure the gasket sticks out of the edge of this side and this side so no weather gets into it. And that's what we're doing here. Make sure that the gasket is fitting properly to create that seal. Now it's easier to tighten everything down once they're started. Make sure that everything is snug. Make sure that the, out, the switch is flush with the plate. And now we can install the hinge, the outer cover on the hinge. And as you see, closes nice, good seal, no water will get in there. And that is how you install an outdoor switch. Remember, if there's any doubt, please contact a local electrician. I'm Nick Morrow with CJSElectric7.com.